In order for the Jedi to locate Force-sensitive children and bring them into the Order to begin their training, the Jedi established the Acquisition Division to help fulfill the crucial work of pursuing new members. But the ability of Higo Damask, who would go on to become the Dark Lord of the Sith Darth Plagueis, to avoid detection by the Jedi as a child, isn't just remarkable in that he avoided the Acquisition Division, but he went undetected even by Jedi who he came face to face with as a child. In this video expose, I will explain how Darth Plagueis was able to avoid being discovered by the Jedi when he was a child, thereby preventing his being brought to Coruscant to be trained as a Jedi, and allowing for his training as a Sith to be fulfilled. Unlike the typical childhood of Moons associated with the intergalactic banking clan, Plagueis grew up not on the world of Moonalist, but on Maijito. This was because prior to Plagueis being born, his father, dissatisfied with his standing upon Moonalist, set out to establish himself on the Outer Rim planet after it was discovered that Maijito was home to a vast wealth of precious metals. Eventually becoming the administrator of Maijito, Plagueis' father would marry a fellow Moon who would give birth to Plagueis. We could say that Plagueis avoided being found by the Jedi as a child simply because the planet of Maijito was under the control and administration of the moons. Therefore, unlike was the case with all Republic-controlled worlds, Plagueis wasn't subjected to the mandatory blood testing required of all newborns to test their concentration of midichlorians, and his Force sensitivity wasn't brought to the attention of the Jedi. Further, because the birth of Plagueis had been manipulated by his eventual master Darth Tenebris, it's likely that all testing for the sake of the Republic and Jedi was done away with, to ensure Plagueis fell into the hands of the Sith and not the Jedi. However, whether Plagueis avoided having his midichlorians tested and thus hidden from the Jedi because the remote planet of Maijito simply wasn't under the purview of Republic law, or because Darth Tenebris intentionally prevented it isn't relevant. This is because regardless of the actions of the Acquisition Division, Jedi came face to face with Plagueis himself upon Maijito when he was a young child. This is because one of the many treasures present upon the Outer Rim planet was crystals the Jedi wanted for use in training lightsabers for the Order's initiates. The presence of these crystals meant that Jedi routinely came to Maijito, and more specifically, met with Plagueis' father and brought into the Damask household. So how did Plagueis avoid being discovered by the Jedi when he was still just a child? From an extremely young age, even before he was 5 years old, Plagueis recognized that he had abilities that were different from his other classmates. He noticed that he had the ability to manipulate their emotions and could influence them in ways that accorded to his own desires. However, over the following years, as Plagueis' abilities increased, he took to performing even more invasive manipulations of his classmates. In one such instance, having felt disrespected by a fellow Moon, Plagueis manipulated the boy to such an extent that he threw himself out of a window, resulting in his death. Although no one was able to conclude that Plagueis had anything to do with the matter, he was honest with his mother about what he'd done. It was this confession that would ultimately allow Plagueis to shield himself from detection by the Jedi and the discovery of his Force sensitivity. Plagueis' mother was adamant that like herself and his father, Plagueis was born with a gift, a strange wondrous power that he had seemed to inherit in abundance. Importantly, she told him that they spent their entire lives closely guarding the secret of their Force sensitivity, telling no one of the powers they had. Therefore, she made Plagueis promise that he would tell no one of his secret, and that it must be a fact that remained undisclosed to anyone. Although Plagueis had already been adhering to those constraints, the importance of hiding his abilities with the Force became paramount after the words received from his mother. Without anyone to officially train him, except perhaps the guidance from his own parents, Plagueis would discover great skill with the ability of Force Concealment a power that would conceal his ability to use the Force from others. By the time the Jedi Order dispatched teams of knights and padawans to Maijito to take advantage of the operations then put in place by the Elder Damask for the acquisition of crystals, Plagueis had perfected his ability to mask his powers from others. In fact, Plagueis, even though still only a child, could even sense the abilities of Jedi without revealing his own true nature with the Force. 
Therefore, Plagueis' proficiency with the power of force concealment was crucial to his ability to avoid being found by the Jedi as a child. It would also be key in his ability to manipulate Jedi face to face in his later years, such as the manipulation of Jedi Master Sifo Diaz to commission the clone army upon Kamino. So there we have it! How Darth Plagueis avoided being discovered by the Jedi as a child. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For the Acquisition Division...